Nobody wants to wait without knowing exactly when joy will come. But because He who promised is faithful, we can wait for the fulfillment of His word, even if we have to stutter through countless tear-soaked prayers to see it. Hi, I'm Sophia, and today we'll be reading from Psalm 126, verse 5 to 6. Those who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy. He who goes out weeping, bearing the seed for sowing, shall come home with shouts of joy, bringing his sheaves with him. This psalm is one of the 15 songs of ascents, specifically for the Israelites who are returning home to Jerusalem after decades of exile and captivity. It starts off in celebration and gratitude for God's restoration and promise-keeping faithfulness to His people. But the psalmist knew that all the shouts of joy did not spring up out of nowhere. Behind that bountiful harvest were 70 long years of suffering and crying out to God. If you're into gardening, you've probably heard of the old trick where gardeners soak their seeds in water before planting. The moisture around the seed tells it that it's now safe to grow, and it even speeds up the process of its growth. So we all know that growth takes time, but we can't deny that we want that harvest now. Nobody wants to soak their seeds in tears. Nobody wants to wait without knowing exactly when joy will come. But because He who promised is faithful, we can wait for the fulfillment of His word, even if we have to stutter through countless tear-soaked prayers to see it. Even when we've cried our eyes dry, we can run to the man of sorrows who is close to the broken heart. Jesus Christ sowed His restorative work in blood and tears in the Garden of Gethsemane, was dead and buried for three days, and on the third day rose again to give us new life and an inexpressible, glorious joy. So whatever it is you're crying out to Him for, He knows and He sees. Your tears are not shed in vain. Keep sowing, keep weeping. Joy is coming. Let's pray. God, we thank you for today. And we thank you that even if we are going through the most difficult of seasons right now, and we have been waiting so long for that harvest to come, thank you that we have the assurance of your word that joy follows after mourning and after suffering. Thank you that because you are faithful and you are good, and you are loving and you are gracious, we can hold on to who you are, even if we don't know when that joy will come. In Jesus' name, Amen.